fabulous darlings. My name is Tiandra. I am the owner of Finest Wine Boutique. And today we're going to be discussing styling tips for the fall. It is September and hopefully just like we are here, uh, you're also experiencing a change in the weather. It's not as hot, still hot, but not as hot. And you can start to incorporate and pull out some of your items for fall. And if you're shopping for fall items, make sure you check us out at finestwineboutique.com. We're going to have a lot of new outerwear, uh, dresses, tops, bottoms, accessories. Uh, so be on the lookout for those things. But this week we want to start with the first trend that I want to share with you for fall 2023. And that is the color red. You're going to see red incorporated in so many different items when it comes to fashion. September is also the start of fashion week. So I will be sharing some behind the scenes, uh, I guess, fashion footage. I'm not going to be personally traveling to any of the fashion shows that are in like New York, Milan, and Paris, uh, and places like that. But we do have a fashion district here in South Florida, and I'm gonna be taking some trips down to Miami to show you some of the trends that are being discussed on a global um, platform. I'm gonna show you those trends uh, that you see on the runway, how they're incorporating those styles into merchandise that's being offered to us. And in addition to taking you out to the fashion district in Miami, I'm gonna also share with you items at Finest Wine Boutique that, that will also show you how we can take those uh, concepts that they're displaying on a global um, stage for fashion for 2023. So with that being said, I know that was a lot. <laughs> Just know that I am making sure that the things that we offer in the boutique are classic, but also give you some items that are trend, on trend. Not necessarily trendy, but on trend. So with that being said, let's go with the first fashion tip for 2023. And that is to incorporate red into your uh, daily routine. It could be using like a, a beautiful red bold lipstick. Or it could be something uh, like your outerwear. Blazers. Bottoms. Pants. Shoes. Boots. Heels. Uh, scarves. There's so many ways, purses, there's so many ways that you can incorporate red into your uh, wardrobe. So let's get started with styling tips for uh, red women's clothing. Okay. So as you know, styling red women's clothing can be bold, it can be eye-catching, it's all a matter of how you use it. So it can be as bold as you wear a, a, a blazer or outerwear that's red. And it could be as subtle as you just changing over the neutral tones for fall to a bolder uh, red uh, lipstick or blush or what do you call it? <laughs> I don't wear a lot of makeup because it's so hot here in South Florida, but I will be wearing more makeup and throughout the week I'm going to be showing you how to style and braid and I'll be wearing more makeup. So you'll see me change that as well. So let's let's go ahead and talk about how you can uh, style your wardrobe using red. The first thing you want to do is choose the right shade of red based on the tones of your skin. If you have more of a green based uh, or green tone like I do um, you don't want it to be um, something that's too 
cold, if you have like warmer tones, you want to make sure that the red that you choose is going to look good on you. So the best way to, to know that is simply by trying the items on and see how the reds look on your skin. And I'll be giving you some um, illustrations of that, hopefully during this video, but definitely throughout the week. So look forward to seeing that. Red comes in various shades, and I will have to read because I want to make sure I give you the best information. Red comes in various shades from bright and fiery to deeper and more muted. Consider your skin tone and personal preference when selecting the shade of red that complements you best. For example, <laughs> individuals with warm undertones may look great in tomato red while those with cool undertones may prefer a deeper berry red. So let me just give you an example. I'm gonna show you some items that I have that come in like two different shades of red. I would say one of them is warm and one of it is more cool. So just one second. All right, so hopefully you can see the colors really well. And some of the items are, are offered on Finders Wine Boutique, like this beautiful dress. This is a more cooler red. Like a, it's like a real cool red. So, you know, the next dress that I'm gonna show you is gonna have reds. But the red is warmer. You see the difference? So this is what we mean by choosing reds that are right for your skin tone. This particular dress is nice because it, it mixes both. It has cool reds and it has warm reds. But something like this, all cool red. I'll show you more items as we go throughout um, and begin to go over the different tips. But I just wanted to set the stage for the different tones of red and what you can look out for. The other thing that you wanna do is pair red with neutrals. Red pairs wonderfully with neutral colors like black, white, gray, and beige. These combinations create a classic and timeless look, which is what we basically stand for here at Finest Wine Boutique. For instance, a red blouse with black pants or a white skirt can be elegant and sophisticated. The third thing you wanna try is a monochromatic look where everything is all one color. You say if you're wearing that dress, you want the boots or the heels that you're wearing to be red. You want maybe the purse that you're wearing to be red. So that's what we mean by monochromatic. We want the outfit to be monochromatic. So you want to embrace a monochromatic look by wearing different shades of red in the same outfit. This creates a bold cohesive appearance another thing that you could do is you can wear red and then you can throw in a burgundy because it's a type of red but it's not necessarily the same exact color red but you're still in the whole red category from head to toe you want to mix various textures and fabrics to add depth and interest to the outfit so let me see, let me see if I can show you a way that you can do that really quick. And throughout the week, I'm going to have these outfits on. Um, I'm going to try to go over each tip and show you an outfit um, where you can um, use that tip. Hold on. All right, so a way that you can mix fabrics and be monochromatic. So you see you have this cute little sweater dress here. 
it's a little um i hope the light is good see how you have this cute little sweater dress with the cutout it's a rib sweater dress it's very stretchy but you could um i have to take these boots out of the <laughs> like you all i'm pulling things out that's been away for a year so it's a little dusty here but you can mix that with uh maybe a, a boot a suede in texture i think this might these boots might look better excuse the dust because i'm pulling things out of the out of the woodworks here even this dress here because it's so long and flowy this is like a silky satiny type of a material it will go good with these boots because this dress is so long so all you're going to see is the bottom part of the boot so that's a, that's another idea that you can use when dressing and using red excuse the dust <laughs> is to make sure that your outfit is monochromatic all right another tip is denim and red denim looks really good with red red pairs exceptionally well with denim creating a casual yet chic look a red top or sweater with jeans or denim skirt can strike a balance between casual and stylish i will definitely show you uh, how to do that and we do offer denim skirts at finest wine boutique with size inclusive so you'll find those in small up to i believe about a 3x you want to accessorize thoughtfully when wearing red it's essential not to overdo it with accessories opt for neutral accessories or metallics like gold or silver to keep the focus on the red clothing item that red dress i wore when we went to dinner on a cruise um it was the formal night and i was shocked <laughs> because of how the red the reaction of people people were turning their heads and i'm usually like really low-key uh, but when i go out and i dress up i like to go all the way out you know and um that was a that dress it was definitely a, a head turner and a showstopper but you want to make sure that uh, your your jewelry um is you know not competing with the dress the dress is already given a lot so you don't want um, items like this this is a very popular uh, earring right now and these right here these are the the dupes and I'm not really one to wear stuff like this but I said let me go out and see how it will look so you see just changing your accessories can compete with what you have on. It could complement it or it could totally uh, destroy your outfit. So you want to choose wisely when you accessorize. And these, are, I think they're called the Bottega dupes. The ones that are made by the designer of Bottega, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> They're like $1,000 for the earrings. But at Finest Wine Boutique, we have the dupes. And they're actually really pretty. It's not something I would normally choose, but, you know, looking at it, they really are pretty and eye-catching. So we'll, we'll offer these on the site, and they'll be in gold as well as silver. So look for that coming uh, your way soon. But definitely, when you're wearing red, you want to make sure that your jewelry, you think it through and make sure that you don't overdo it because the red is already giving a lot. A red dress with gold jewelry uh, can be a stunning combination. So as you saw with that dress and those boots, the gold on the red just pops. I'm not sure why it pops more than silver, but gold with red looks really, really good. 
prints and patterns like I showed you with that first dress. The red can be incorporated into prints and patterns such as florals, polka dots, or stripes. Another thing that's going to be um, really trendy for this haul is pinstripes. This adds visual interest to your outfit while still featuring the boldness of red. Another tip is that you want to layer with outerwear, like a, a red blazer. You want to pair your red clothing with outerwear, like a, a black leather jacket, a denim jacket, or a neutral colored cardigan. So this week, one of the videos that I'm going to upload is going to be me showing you how to layer with red. And more than likely, I'll be uh, layering the red with either a denim jacket or a black jacket. This can add depth to your look and make it suitable for various seasons. So one of the things you want to do as the weather transitions from hot to not so hot to cool to crisp then cold is to play around with layers. So uh, you can walk out in the morning with a bunch of layers on to keep warm and then as the day goes by and it warms up you can peel some of those layers off and then as you continue into the evening and it gets cool again you can put those layers back on so layering is definitely um, essential for fall styling you want to consider the occasion the way you style red clothing can vary depending on the occasion. Now, if you're going to a Christmas party, you're going to want to wear a whole different type of red than you would if you're going into the office. The style of red that you wear uh, when you're just out running errands or if you're going to brunch with your girlfriends or if you're going to a conference or church, it's going to vary. You know which outfit you can wear it is you have to consider the occasion a red cocktail dress or a red blazer can be dressed up for formal events while a red sweater or t-shirt can be perfect for a casual day out footwear choices I showed you one but before this uh, video ends I'll show you another pair of red shoes that I'm going to be using this week to style, but footwear choices are essential. Black or nude shoes are often a safe bet when wearing red, as they don't compete with the vibrant color. However, you can also experiment with red shoes if you're feeling daring. It all depends on your personality and, of course, the occasion. So I showed you the red boots. So let me show you another pair of red sh shoes or footwear. <laughs> All right, so here's another pair of red um, shoes. And these are very daring. Look how high the heel is. But it all depends on the occasion. So you can wear something like this. Or, you know, you can rock something like this with some jeans or black catsuit or black catsuit and cardigan. So definitely you do have some options when it comes to red um, with footwear choices. The last tip is that confidence is key. Red is a bold color that demands confidence. If you wear it, don't be shy because <laughs> people are going to notice. It's eye catchy. Whenever you see something red in nature, it usually means like danger. Or if you're driving and you see a red light, it means, you know, stop. Red makes people turn their head. It makes them stop and look at you. It makes it, it makes them take notice. So definitely know if you're going to walk out here in red, you're going to get some attention. So have confidence. Make sure you're not wearing it. In a situation where you don't want a lot of attention, like you, church, you might not want 
all eyes on you. <laughs> so, but if you're coming in red, all eyes will be on you for at least a minute. So, confidence is key. Wear your red clothing with pride and carry yourself with poise to truly make a statement. Remember that fashion is a form of self-expression. So feel free to experiment and find your unique style when wearing red clothing. Ultimately, the key to successful styling is to wear what makes you feel comfortable and confident. Now, I know I read all of this off of the paper because I wanted to make sure I'm giving you good information, something that you can use. I'm doing my research and I want to share it with you. But throughout the week, we're going to talk about each one of these and it's going to be more informal. And I'm going to be actually trying on some of the outfits. So it'll be like I'll put up a couple of get ready with me type of videos and when i do go to the design district i'm gonna make sure i wear red and i'm going to show you the reaction of people when they see me in red because there's definitely a difference and like i said earlier when i wore that red dress to dinner on the cruise i was shocked i i actually had never um noticed that type of a reaction before but it was definitely different. It was memorable and it was a, it was a welcoming surprise to know that what you wear has power. Uh, and um, it does. It can change the mood in the room when you step in the, on the scene. So these are some things that you want to think about and be mindful of. So let's just do a really quick recap. These are the styling tips for red women's clothing and i have 10 of them number one choose the right shade of red two pair with neutrals three monochromatic outfits are a way that you can style your clothing with red number four denim and red number five accessorize thoughtfully number six use prints and patterns to uh, style your clothing with red number seven layer with outerwear number eight consider the occasion number nine footwear choices are not limited you can use black nudes or red footwear and number 10 confidence is key if you found these tips to be helpful please like this video share with others who may uh, enjoy it or find it helpful as well and comment below let me know if you are going to be wearing red this fall and if you have noticed people wearing red already so fall hasn't quite started yet, so you have time to uh, look on Finders Wine Boutique and other sites to find the perfect red item for you uh, to add to your wardrobe so that you can style uh, using red this fall. Again, my name is Tiandra Robinson. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting our channel as it grows. I'm going to be continuously working on bringing you better content. And um, as I learn how to create the content, you're going to see the content change for the better. God willing. <laughs> God willing. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. We appreciate your support. And I will see you more frequently this week as I begin to share with you different outfits uh, and show you how to uh, incorporate these styling tips into your routine. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.